What's up guys? This is gonna be a super shaky video. Hopefully I don't shake too much and I don't look so horrible. It's not my normal setup. I'm in Greece and I thought what a better way on my holidays while I'm trying to get married. I'll do some videos for you and get back to YouTube. So here's is my May wrap up. So I'll get my phone and have a look at the books because I don't remember. So let's let's get started. Okay, so I read the Bourbon Kings. I'll leave a different review, I'll leave a separate review. I'm just gonna name the books that I read now because I don't wanna take too long and I'm gonna see how it goes with the videos like that. So I read The Bourbon Kings by J.R. Ward and this book, it was super cool. It was like dynasty slash a soap opera and a whole lot of drama and it was great. It was something different from that offer and I loved it. Next, I read Happy Pants Cafe and uh, it was really cute romance novel and I thought that was so worth reading and yeah I mean I bought it on Kindle I'll put an image around here if this a uh, I can or otherwise I'll link it down below or you can go check it out on my blog where I have written probably a review on it also, I've read Irina's Eye, and that's another uh, that uh, it's another book uh, from a Kindle author. I mean, he he asked me if I wanted to review the book for him, and I did. It was a quite interesting book uh, to read, but it did tire me towards the end. So I don't know if you're like into. World War II books slash semi-fake uh, biography. I read a leather, leather Pants 2, also continuing, I guess, the story with the different characters. It was really nice and as I said, I love this author because it gives me the chuckles every time. Um, and it's nice and refreshing to read authors that actually are quite funny. Then I read Captured by the Dragon. That's another romance story. I mean, like I'm into romance stories lately and um, I've been enjoying them quite a lot, especially when you're on holidays, you wanna read something nice and fluffy. And uh, from the same author, let me have a look. I read The Passion's Dragon. Again, the same kind of like story concept with dragons and shapeshifters and love and uh, sexiness. And yeah, it was totally worth it. So, uh, oh my. To continue this thing, I don't know what I'm gonna read on June uh, because I'm preparing to get married in July and it's a little bit hectic but I have a few books that I want to read and that probably I'll need to and I'll probably will see you next time. Bye!